Hey guys, this is Veron from Secret of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another watercolor piece. I know we did we just did one last week, but I've been in the watercolor mood. And we are doing fan art for Fate Grand Order. And yes, I know I've done a lot of fan art for Fate Grand Order, especially for the Knights of the Round Table, but you know, Lost Belt 4 just released and I got kind of hyped up reading and watching the stream and all of the translations and all of that and I just felt compelled to do it. So with Lost Belt 4, a lot of the Indian servants got updates such as Rama, Arjuna, and our topic for the day, Karna. So Lost Belt 4 uh, is supposedly centered around Indian myth or it might actually be in India. It the the name of the sing or the lost belt singularity the name of the lost belt is yuga kestra or Shtera? Shtra? i'm not sure i'm not i don't know how to pronounce that but it seems to be centered on, around indian servants and karna gets such a hella good animation update it's beautiful <laughs> so seeing that video or seeing his new animation update i got super hyped and i wanted to draw fan art for him so here we are, you know, just here we are. <laughs> so I will, I'm not super familiar with Indian myth and lore, except what, you know, most people know. Uh, Karna is the hero of charity, mainly because of what he did in his life. And I'll actually just read what's on the biography that you get from the game. Uh, it's Of course, it's not going to be super accurate of what the actual lore is or what's in the epics, but it's what we get from the game. So, I'll be reading his default description until Bond 5. So, here we go. A great hero from the ancient epic poem from India, Mahabharata, the rival of Arjuna, the central hero of the Mahabharata, as well as his half-brother by a different father. Upon becoming unable to move due to many curses, he was brought down by Arjuna in a manner similar to the deliberate murder. He also qualifies for an archer or rider. Karna is a demigod hero born from the human girl Kunti and the sun god Surya. However, right after being born, he was abandoned by Kunti and raised the son of a charioteer. Still, his attributes as a hero are not the kind of thing that can remain hidden. After casting away Karna, his mother Kunti gave birth to the five sons of the Pandu royal house. The third among them is Arjuna someone who would become a lifelong rival for Karna. Upon going old, Karna became an adopted child of the Kuru house that was antagonic to the Pandu house. However, there were too many curses and obstacles before Karna could fight Arjuna. Receiving a curse from a Brahmin, deceived by Indra, forced to swear to not fight anyone other than Arjuna in response to the appeal of his mother Kunti. But even still, Karna accepted everything. From the anecdotes of handing over his armor to Indra, Karna is entrusted to a god slaying spear by dismantling, tearing up, and discarding the golden armor. This, a spear of light that even the king of gods was not able to handle properly. A single strike released by peeling off his whole body and being dyed in blood purges all sorts of impurities. O son, abide the death. I will not read his interlude stuff because that's, you know, it's kind of special to people who do, who do have Karna. So, yeah. Um, so, Karna is the central figure for Lost Belt 4. Having the most awesome animation update so far. Is he? Yeah, I think he has one of the best animation updates so far. Um, I mean, Arjuna's was cool, Rama's was really nice also, but Karna just like overthrew all of them. <laughs> so you also get a couple of new servants. Um, you can currently get a saber, a new saber servant, Lakshmi Bai, I think the name is. You can also get Ganesha, which is Jinako from Fate Extra CCC. So there's that. So why is, you know, Karna is actually pretty popular. I mean, you can find him in Fate Grand Order. He was released a year ago in NA around the time of Okeanos, I believe. He was released alongside Arjuna. And then you can also find him in Fate Extra CCC as a servant of Jinako. 
Uh, you can also find him in Fate Extella as one of, I think, Tamamo's uh, generals. I'm not pretty sure. I didn't play Extella. And you all can also find him in Fate Apocrypha as the Lancer of Red. So he... I, I Don't quote me on the faction. I just know that he's the Lancer under Amakusa. That's, you know, just watch Apocrypha if you want to know and all of that stuff. So yeah, we end up with certified cool guy, Carla. <laughs> so it was really, I really liked how this piece turned out. Um, seeing his new animation update and his new noble phantasm, I kind of got an idea right. I got an idea right away what kind of piece I wanted to do for him. Uh, the the image in my head was pretty solid and clear right away. So it, it was just a matter of drawing it out, and it took me. Two hours to no two hours and a half to do the entire piece, but if I include the sketching, it maybe three three and a half hours. So it was a really quick, snappy piece, and yeah, we I like how it turned out. I have no complaints. I know that Carla is a little bit paler than what I painted him as, as but given that there's sunlight, and you know, I wanted to add a little bit more color. To him, aside from just being pale white, we just you know, I gave him a little him a little bit of skin tone. Um, what else about the painting itself? I'm using the Kuratahigan Saitambi paints. Uh, I I can't decide if I like it or not. I'm the colors are great. It's super pigmented, um, but the way that it acts against normal western colors are a little bit different so i feel like there's a little bit of a learning curve trying to use them they're not bad paints they're really great paints to be to be perfectly honest uh i just need to learn how to use them a little bit i think they also dry down pretty matte i think or i still don't know if it's still the paper if it's i think it's the paints combined with this paper they dry down pretty matte so they're not they're pretty vivid when you put them down but they dry down very soft in a with a very soft color i think not that it's weak it's just you know i i, I can't describe it oh. but i still like how it turned out um i tried my best to you know just get the colors right um get that really cool epic feeling of just you know karna in general and yeah Unfortunately, this is Lost Bed Fort that just released last night, I think. So I won't be getting to play that for another two years because I've already because I've already officially switched to NA. Uh, because not all of my servants in NA are leveled up, or not all, most of a good number of them. I have a lot of F8 servants. Um, I already am at well, I'm up to date with the chapter, so I I'm at EOR. Um, my GP account is still stuck in E Pluribus Unum, sadly. So I don't think I'll be going back to JP, especially since I like playing the game, understanding what's happening in the story. So I'll wait two years for my Karna animation update, and fortunately, I do have two years to try to pull for Karna. So I tried to pull for him when he released to Arjuna. Uh, last year, he did not come. I've been pulling randomly during banners where he does have rate up. Obviously, he didn't come. I did my best to pull for him in Chaldea Boy's collection. I got Gawain instead. And obviously, Arthur Pendagon. I also got Amakusa from Chaldea, Chaldea Boy's collection. I tried pulling for him in the... What was the latest one? I think it's the CCC one. The one with that with Tamamo. So there was a rate up for extra servants. And since Kata is an extra servant, there was a rate up with Tamamo, Emiya, Nero, and all of that. And I did pull on the Karna banner, but instead, it was Tamamo who came home. Which I don't mind, because I've been wanting to get Tamamo also. She's one of the top higher tier support casters, well, as of now, for NA. Obviously, the top tier is Merlin, and then you have Waver, and you have Tamamo. Once Kadi comes out, Tamamo gets a little bit kicked out, but still, she's a good support servant, so I, I am happy that I got her. But I was pulling for Karna, you know? <laughs> so the Hero of Charity has been avoiding me. And my friend actually got Karna <laughs> from a random ticket pool, which is annoying. But I guess that's life. 
So I do hope I'll be getting Karna soon. Though I am gonna be trying to pull for I'm gonna try to pull for Merlin in the lucky bag. So Karna can spook me there, but I still want Merlin. I hope I get Merlin. I need I need Merlin. <laughs> My playstyle is very Merlin dependent, especially I'm a very stall team type. Uh I would like to get spooked by Karna someday, please, before your animation update comes, before Lost Belt starts, ideally. <laughs> uh, and then I'll be also be trying to pull for Ereshkigal in the Santa or the Christmas banner this year. Um, I'm also somewhat gunning for the Moe Gozen for Shimosa. Mm, I don't think I'll be pulling for Shuten in Shimosa. Well, we'll see. Mm. But yeah, I, I don't know if I'll be getting Karna. I hope I get him. I, I want him. I want I want him. His character. I'm not as bad as I wanted Arthur, but I want him. <laughs> I want the Karna in my team. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> but yeah, there's enough of me rambling while <laughs> I wait for Karna to come home and get hyped of, for an event that will happen two years from now. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel even. I do a lot of anime, some fan art, I do quite a bit of watercolor, you know, very variety of stuff. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or DeviantArt for, you know, some other fun stuff, and I will see you around.